CrackBerry.com. Hi everyone, Adam here for CrackBerry.com. We are going to check out the Messages application on the BlackBerry Playbook. This is the new BlackBerry Playbook 2.0 software. Um, we have native Messages, Contacts, and Calendar. So we're going to check out Messages. If you haven't already, you're going to want to set up your accounts, um, which you would do under you go to your settings and then click accounts and throw all your info in there. It's really straightforward and easy. So we'll fire up the messages app. This is totally on its own. It's native to the playbook, so it's not bridged or pulling um, you know, through the web browser or anything like that. It's all straight up on the device itself. So here we have our my inbox. All the messages are going to show on the side here. This is the full inbox, so you can see I have Facebook messages there too. I have uh, my LinkedIn account, Facebook, and Twitter all set up already. If you want to do individual ones, um, you just tap the button up top there. You can do all accounts or you can see the individual ones. And then there's also an add account too. So you can get to the uh, account screen straight through the messages app, which is very cool. So if we hop into a message here, you can see a bunch of settings or uh, buttons here down the side. We have our full screen, so you can jump into a full screen view of the email. Um, we can do a little pinch to zoom if you want to zoom in and out on it. And then you have your pretty standard fare down the side. There's a reply, reply all forward. Um, you can flag the message if you want to do that. You see your little flag up top. Um, and then there's a mark is read, unread, archive, next previous, and delete. So all straightforward, pretty intuitive in that aspect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like to do um, a new email here. So you can see it's got the signature on. I'll show you how to get rid of that in a second. But it's all uh, rich text email, which is pretty awesome. So we'll just do a quick type in here. Um, the other cool thing is your predictive keyboard shows up when you start typing, which is super awesome because that wasn't there before. Um, so we got our reply in there and we'll go ahead and select that if we can. Oh, I missed it totally. There we go. So we'll select that and you can see you have you know bold italic underline tons of fonts. It's not like there's you know five or six fonts. You actually get quite a few to work with. So this is kind of a break from the normal BlackBerry that we're used to because on you know on the phones there's no uh, rich text. It's just all the plain stuff. Um, you know you got your bullets, your numbers, change your color, your indentations over there. You can do your alignment. So if you're like my mother and you like to send you know emails that are written in purple and centered in Comic Sans, you can do that from the playbook now, which is I guess good and bad. Uh, so we'll exit out of that. It gives you the option to save your draft if you want to do that. Um, and as I said before, we'll jump in the settings here. To get rid of your signature, you can go under your email preferences. You can turn that on or off. You can change it up if you like to have a signature for some reason. Um, and then all your options in here are pretty much what you would find on your phone. You have the option to hide your sent messages, filed messages. You can group them as conversations or single message. Um, and then you have your alert options here. So you can display your message count, which is what's going to show in the top corner there and the new message indicator as well. And there's also settings. If you go into your settings under notifications, you can change down the bottom here for glow, which is the top corner, the little red uh, beacon that shows up there, your LED, which is obviously the LED light. You can do both or one or the other. And then you can turn the volume up and down so you get your little message ding. Unless it gets super annoying, which it has for me already, then you turn it off. Um, and back in here we go. Um, you can choose to compose your new messages straight out of the bottom here. So there's options for whatever accounts you have set up. If you want to do a new email, you can do that. I'll start typing in Kevin here. It's going to pull from your contacts. So we can do a new message to Kevin and then you type away and that's all there is to it. You want to do an attachment. You can do that too. You can pick a picture um, or any documents that you have stored on your device and your send button is up top there. And that is all there is to it really. So this is all pulling straight from my Gmail account, which I've set up already. Um, so everything's in here and it's gonna sync up. So if you, you know, you highlight an email, um, mark it as not read, it's gonna sync back with the server. So that'll show in Gmail as read or unread, depending on what you do on the device. So awesome stuff, you know, it's far beyond the bridge. Definitely what we've been waiting for. Um, I'm super pumped to have it. So it's gonna be a whole new world for the playbook. So that is all there is to it. So. Check it out if you haven't already. That is the Messages application on the BlackBerry Playbook.